What is up everybody? It's King Kunta, your favorite World of Warcraft gold farming YouTuber. Boy, that's a mouthful. Anyways, I'm going to bring to you guys another gold farm today, and I know you've all been patiently awaiting that, but we're going to bring it to you. So today we're going to be farming uh, an older dungeon. Many of you, if you've even leveled a character, you've already run through it. And, uh, yeah, I'm not going to give any secrets away yet, but I am going to show you just one of the items that you can get from the farm that you need to look out for. Obviously, if you have Trade Skill Master, it's just going to make the entire thing easier, so, like, listen to what I'm telling you. Have Trade Skill Master. master. So, we're going to look it up, just to show you, if I can spell it. Okay. Ceremonial Leather. Okay should pop up there we go this is just one of the items that you need to be looking out for in this farm because it can sell for approximately that much and uh, there's about 10 or 20 items in the loot table of this uh, dungeon that we're going to be farming that actually do drop items that are around uh, 30,000 60,000 gold and people have come out of here after a couple hours of running and they got real lucky because like I'm gonna tell you guys now this farm is RNG based so you're gonna have to you know bear in mind that there's no guarantee you're gonna get these but people have walked out of these farms with around you know 200 300,000 uh, in loot value just from picking up all those uh, rare transmog and slut mog pieces that drop so I think it might be enough of me just sitting here and talking the whole time and uh, repeating myself as some people don't like me to do apparently in the comment section and we're gonna cut to the farm but before I do that I want to ask you to go ahead and hit the notification button down there it's right down there also subscribe like the video if you liked it if you didn't like it then also like the video and uh, in the link in the description is a setup to what I record with all that good stuff if you want to go ahead and check that out but we're gonna go ahead and cut and I will meet you at the farm I'm gonna show you where it's at all that good stuff and I love you and I will see you there all right everybody we're at the new location uh, of the farm that I was talking about, you should all know this, and um, today we're going to be farming the Wailing Caverns for uh, some transmog, and uh, it actually does drop a decent amount of transmog, and I'm going to go ahead and show you guys where it's at right now. It's in the Northern Barrens in Kalundor right here, and you want to go to this continent right here. If you're taking the flight path, you can take the flight path to uh, the Southern Barrens right here, and then fly over to the Northern Barrens if you don't have it unlocked yet. That's the easiest way to just get to this area. As you can see on the map, it is right here. So you should be able to get there. So make it easier for you. And then once you do get to this location right here on the map, you're going to see this big like cave structure kind of almost. And I'll show you what it looks like from the top so no one misses it. It looks like a skull kind of ish. I don't know. Anyways, we're going to go ahead and we're going to go inside of this. There are a bunch of like raptors and stuff like that that you might be forced to kill. You can just run past all these, and uh, you can check the map right now, or just uh, follow the path that I'm going through in order to get to the uh, actual instance. Now you can farm this dungeon on Heroic or Normal, uh, it doesn't matter. Uh, there's different loot that drops on Heroic or Normal, but for like our purposes, they're pretty much the same. Um, like, the, the amount of gold that you're going to get out of normal versus heroic is going to be uh, pretty much around the, the same. Like, there's no point in switching to them. I mean, if you accidentally farm it as heroic, that's fine too. And, yeah, so just try to clear up some of that mess. It doesn't really matter. So, we're going to go down here. Here's the instance location. As you can see, i got a ton of raptors and everything following me. Like I said, that does uh, come, they, they do follow you down here. You don't even have to loot those. Alright, so you see here we're now at the instance location. I'm going to go ahead and cut the video so you guys don't have to see a loading screen, and I'll see you once we're in there. Alright everybody, so we're now inside the cave, and this will probably be a familiar sight to almost anyone that has been, you know, running through these, like, ever. So basically what we're going to do, uh, we're just going to go ahead and aggro everything from the start of the instance from the first part. So we're just going to go ahead and aggro all these to follow us now there are two uh bosses that will spawn that are elites uh base or uh like they have a set chance to spawn uh every time you start up the instance and basically they are down here and if they are up you are going to want to kill them now there are a couple ways to do this instance you can either um do what i'm doing you can go kill all the bosses if you like 
Um, you don't have to, but I like doing that because I ensure that I have bigger drop chances uh, when I do it this way. As you can see down there is Crush, you can go ahead and kill him, he will also drop some transmog pieces as well. So what we're going to do, we're going to aggro all these, and then uh, we're going to go ahead and check the map, and there should be a boss uh, up here with us, I believe, yep. Um, now there are some lore parts of this dungeon that you might not want to have to deal with, basically, like, you have to wait on some of the areas, so if you don't want to kill those bosses that come through there, you can always, uh, do, uh, unstuck and come back and you don't have to worry about any of those. So see, as I got all these people following me here, i go ahead and get these. This is a boss right here, too, that will drop peace. So we're gonna go ahead and aggro everything, and then, uh... Just gonna switch out, moon fire everything down. Yeah, moon fire. All right, so there we go, boss down. You can loot all these. I think you should just kind of pick everything up for the most part because uh, it's not gonna really like matter. You're just gonna have a ton of junk at the end of the dungeon, anyways. So as you see here, we got those, and we actually got a green out of that. As you can see here, it's worth 1k gold on my server right now. So that's uh, we didn't make out too bad. So after you kill that boss up there, I do find it easier to run through these right here. And uh, yeah, it might take a little bit longer, and you're going to have to go find uh, the turtle boss, but it's definitely an option that you guys uh, have. So we're just going to switch to Feral again. Just going to run through here, aggro all this stuff. They'll follow you. Make sure you aggro everything. If you have skinning, you can also use uh, your skinning profession to go ahead and pick up some extra uh, kills. Or not kills, uh, gold. Because... You know, you're going to be able to skin everything down here, and including the raptors, actually. So that will actually work out in your favor. See here, nothing really good. Um, Crash does have a chance to drop a shield, too, that is also a transmog item. Uh, it's not worth a ton, but it is a transmog item. Also, we've got Scum in here. We can go ahead and We're going to go ahead and kill him, too. Like I said, if you have skinning, uh, it's definitely way easier. Uh, just dropped me some gold, sadly. But yeah, that's basically all that's it to it. Um, you don't have to go kill all these bosses because they can kind of be a pain in the butt, especially with all the lore and stuff that you have to do. But uh, yeah, that's basically all you want to do. You will get some transmog pieces off of um, some of the bosses if you can be bothered to do them. Uh, if not, that's fine too because you'll actually get a decent amount of drops just off of the bosses that will spawn down there. So, we're going to keep going around here, and we're just going to get everything. But yeah, like I said, uh, that's pretty much the route you want to go. Each run in the dungeon should... Sorry, it's trade skill updating. Um, but each boss uh, does have a chance to drop stuff, and it's basically what you want to do. If you run the route that I'm doing and kill uh, mostly not all the bosses, you're going to end up taking, I'd say, about seven, a run, seven minutes a run. Uh, can be a bit longer than that uh, and it's kind of a pain in the butt but if you just want to run the lower portion of it and uh, go reset that quickly you also have the opportunity to do that so it's entirely up to you if you want to pull the whole dungeon and do the old style of farming you can just do that too it's uh, up to you and you're never gonna hit instant lock because this dungeon will take way too long and you'll definitely hit the point uh, to reset it at that and uh, I think that's a bit of uh, Sorry, I think that's all the information I have for you guys regarding this farm. Um, yeah, I think that's going to be it. If you did like this uh, guide, go ahead and like, comment, uh, subscribe, please. It really helps me out every time someone scri scribes. Yeah, get your scribe. No, every time someone subscribes, it really helps me out, and uh, it reminds me of why I'm doing this. And uh, I'd just like to thank every single one of you. Also, if you check the link in the description, that is all the gear I use on my YouTube channel to create my videos, do all that good stuff, and a little bit of inspiration. If anyone's actually thinking about starting a YouTube channel, I highly recommend you do it because it is one of the most uh, beneficial things I have ever done. I'm not going to lie because like, it's helped me grow as a person. It helps me, I know it may sound a little weird, but I, it teaches you to like talk to yourself, be comfortable talking to yourself and that kind of stuff, and it can also make you more articulate because you kind of have to explain to people what's going on. And I highly recommend you do it. Um, if you need, like, if you have any ideas on, like, what kind of gear you need or any, anything like that, you can always just check the link in the description. I got all that down there, and I like to try to help my subscribers out. 
So uh, I think that's going to be it. If you did like, you know the rules. And uh, I think I'm going to see you guys in the next video. I love you all. Goodbye.